Hello and welcome back to another video from Mikiris IT. Today I'll be showing you how to create an employee onboarding guide in the Microsoft Dynamics 365 for Talent application. This is our third video in our series surrounding the entire talent platform and today I'm going to be using the onboard app which is part of the entire talent package. So to get started on creating the guide, head to the white box here and then we can define who the guide is for. So if you've already set up a work email for your new employee then you can enter the name here and all the information will automatically appear. Or if you're in onboarding multiple people at once, you can import a list of people here to save time. And if you haven't set anything up yet, you can manually set up and import the name here. So we're just going to put a very generic name, Bob Smith, and a fake email address. Obviously, I'm not going to be sending this out properly, so I'm just going to put something random in there. And then the job title will say Sales Consultant. And you can define their start date, which we'll put as the 1st of July. Then what you can do down here is you can have uh, the guide automatically sent out to the to your new employee. So just in case you don't want to send it out too far in advance or if you feel like you might forget, then you can get talent to actually automatically send it out either before or after the start date for you. So we can just say we're going to send it out a week in advance, click next, and then what we'll be presented with is this email template. So this is what will be sent along with the guide to the candidate once it's automatically been scheduled. So. This is a default message that's in here, so it just says what the welcome guide is and that, that the team is so happy you're joining us. Obviously, you can change this to however you like. We'll just leave it as default for now. So we can click done, and then the guide will be created. So we'll just wait for that to load. And there you go, your guide is ready to use. So we can enter the content in it. So if we click on it, you can get presented with this screen, and we can see that there's four different sections within the guide. So this first one is just a, like an introductory message and then you can enter whatever you like here. So there is a sample message provided which I'm going to use. But obviously you can add a title and then you can add anything you like here. There's full formatting options. You can enter, you can upload images, you can put links, you can use your heading titles and you can upload files and also locations into, the, into this. So it's a very customizable message. You can add whatever you like in there, whatever you feel necessary for your employee to know. So that's that section out of the way. So the next one is activities. So this is where you can create a list of like a to-do list for your new employees so, and you can you can section it up so we can say name this section as your first day. So these will be the activities that they're going to complete on their first day of work. So down the side here you have various different ad additions that you can add to your activities. So if we click YouTube for example, drag that in. You can enter the name for the activity saying watch our company video and then you can enter a YouTube URL down here. Have a little description again with all the formatting options, select a due date which we can just say as the first. You can categorize your different activities to make it a little bit more easy and then if you believe they'll, the your new hire will need any help or contact with this then you can enter any names or activity or email addresses so in there so they'll have that point of contact. So that's just one activity and then you can create them just by yourself. You don't have to use any of these things. This is just to extend it even further. You can import it if you have various templates. So after you've used this and you've created a few onboarding guides, you might have default templates that you can use. So you can create these onboarding guides even quicker. And then Microsoft also provides you with various different samples of what normal things that might have to happen in an employee onboarding process. So various things such as like tour the office, read the company handbook. So we can just like drag that one in. You can yeah describe the activity. Once again, every activity in here has the same layout to it. So you can just categorize it. Say that one is red. And then all the office equipment, yeah, has lots of different things here. So you can add as many activities as you like, just drag and drop them as you please. And then yeah, you can section them up differently, move it around, do whatever you like with it. So you can completely customize the, the guide experience for your new employee to however your, however your business needs. So that's that activity section out of the way. Then we've got contacts, so what we have here is any teammates, anyone in the organisation that you feel 
the new hire will need to be in contact with, you can add them here. So this is obviously just my email address here as a point of contact. You also get suggestions appear automatically if for people that talent thinks this new hire may be in contact with. So that's a bit useful there, but you can add a little note to as to why this person can help your new hire. Very useful section there. And then finally, we've got the resources section. So this is where you can add various different files, links, and locations to your onboarding guide. So if we put a location in, say here, office location, then things will automatically pull up. So if we just put our office address, Shenley Pavilions, you can see that, then you can add it easily. So that will appear on the employee onboarding guide. Then yeah, you can add any other files or links. So if you've got like your ha employee handbook or any documents that you want them to read beforehand, then this is your place to put them there. So that is basically it for the onboarding guide. That's how easy it is to create one. That's all the information we have. So we, what we can do now is we can preview the guide and see what it looks like from our new hires perspective. So as you can see, this is the welcoming message, the introduction that we had there. You can see the different different activities, You've got the due date, you can see, you can mark it as complete and then as your new hire progresses through at each of the activities, they know which ones they've done, they know what to do. Makes it very simple, very easy and gives you time to actually spend time with them on their first day rather than your new hire just going through various tedious bits of admin work. Makes life a lot easier for them and sets them up for success. So there you go, you've got the contacts and you've also got your resources there. So it's very nice, very easy laid out and make sure you can have a better experience for your new hires. So that's it, very simple video. I hope this has been very useful to you in seeing how easy it is to create a onboarding guide in Dynamics 365 for Talent. If you'd like to learn more about the application, please visit the links in the description below or our other videos that we have on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and goodbye.